Let's move on now to the labor market, which has been the pillar of strength in this economy. But Double Line's Jeffrey Gunlock doesn't think that will persist. I really believe that layoffs are coming. I think we've, start, we've seen hours come down. We've seen uh, hiring freezes. And now we're starting to see layoff uh, announcements, not en masse, and not on a, uh, but, but they're, they're, they're out there in financial firms and technology firms. And I believe that's going to spread. Although my next guest says his data kind of shows the opposite. His firm, Recruiter.com, saw a jump in open positions for job recruiters last month, typically an early indication for a pickup in hiring. For more, let's bring in Evan Sohn. He's the chairman of Recruiter.com. Evan, it's good to see you. And is this a new development? Good to see you as well. Um, look, I, I think Jeffrey's right. There are layoffs coming. We're seeing them in the hundreds uh, in, in different sectors. I, I think when you talked about recruiters, and finally now we're seeing uh, recruiter open roles for recruiters uh, jumped uh, 8% uh, month over month from the, uh, our partners over at Aura and the Aura Report. Um, that's a leading indicator. Uh, so I think the tech companies that lay people off earlier in the year, uh, that was successful. They reset their overall companies themselves, and now they're looking to hire again. Salesforce.com, notably, they made major layoffs earlier in the year, and then they recently announced they're going to be hiring lots of people, uh, and they're gearing up for that by hiring recruiters. Uh, recruiters are a leading indicator of uh, both job openings and then recruiters as well. Was real quickly, what is Aura, the Aura Jobs Report? Oh, sorry. Uh, it's a, a partnership that we have uh, with Aura. Uh, Aura is a company built by Bain and Company, uh, really looking at uh, workforce intelligence and workforce insights. And so it's interesting that they say that tech, one of the first areas to shed workers, is maybe going to be back in hiring mode. But you did warn about some layoffs. Is it elsewhere in the economy? Yeah, so like LinkedIn just announced uh, some layoffs. Schwab announced layoffs. Uh, so we are seeing layoffs. But I think we, we've all sort of noticed that this was a rolling a rolling recession when it came to the, the overall job market themselves. Uh, so each industry has sort of had their moment in time where they've announced layoffs. We're seeing some companies that sort of held off uh, announcing layoffs, maybe Schwab, for instance, with their merger with TD, uh, really held those off. But if you look at the overall jobs numbers, the open jobs, the month-over-month -month open jobs were up by 1.6%. So here we are coming into uh, into November, the end of the year, and jobs were up. Actually, in the Magnificent Seven, they were up by 17 percent. So Apple, for instance, was up by 15 percent month over month in terms of open jobs. Uh, so you're seeing now healthcare. Healthcare still is number one, though healthcare did tick down both in the recruiter index as well as in the Aura Jobs Report, tick down just slightly. But it still is the number one slot there in terms of overall industry segment. And I see here that a lot of these jobs are in a salary range of 100 to 150 k, kind of that mid-management level. Um, what does that tell you? Uh, it, it tells us that there is still this, uh, uh, first of all, there is a, a, a higher candidate uh, sentiment. So candidates still feel uh, OK uh, putting their name out there to leave. Uh, we saw the quit rates in the JOLT report be consistent for the last three months. Um, and so maybe managers are now looking and they're open to jobs. Either they're paying more money, they're giving a, a, a uh, they're giving a, a better work life balance, more compensation, et cetera. Uh, but really interesting to see that so many of the open jobs are really in that hundred thousand uh, dollar plus uh, plus uh, plus range. So, do you think tomorrow's report <laughs> to put to put to make you yeah, a, force yeah, you to a prediction? We were all wrong last month, right? right? We were all wrong last month. So, um, really, everybody was wrong last month. Um, so the one the one light I would say is is hospitality roles were up 5% uh, in terms of open jobs month over month. And we're now coming into that season where those hospitality roles, the seasonality roles are really up. Uh, we saw that, I think, even two years ago when things were more difficult, we saw a really big boom in terms of hiring uh, in November of those jobs. So uh, maybe that could actually balance out some of the, the more flat hiring that we've seen uh, overall in, in the overall economy. Certainly these last few months has been incredibly balanced.